Come on, Peter, let's go. Mary! It's dangerous. Stop! I found it in the woods. The witch's flower, they only bloom once every seven years. What's up guys? This is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and for this week's video, I wanted to show you how to make your very own glow-in-the-dark fly-by-night flowers. These flowers are inspired by the movie Mary and the Witch's Flower, which is Studio Ponoc's first featured film. If you think it has a Ghibli feel to it, you are absolutely right. Some of the animators that worked on this film also worked on Spirit Away and Howl's Moving Castle. The North American release is this Friday, January 19. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. This week's shoutout goes to Nerdcrafts. If you want a chance of a shoutout in my next video, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comments section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release. That's enough blabbering, let's get to it. The first thing I did was take my trusted Sculpey clay, make a ball out of it, and then make a kind of blueberry-shaped bulbed flower. Luckily, I had a star cutter, which makes it so much easier to put together. Once you're happy with how it looks, pat it down very lightly and tell it you're a good little blueberry. Actually, just that's just to make sure it has a flat bottom. And you're going to bake it for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's prep our mold maker. Obviously, I am very well aware that this is expired. Or at least seems to be expired. Now, I don't know about you guys, but an expiration date or a potential expiry is just a suggestion. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> if it works out, then it works out. If it doesn't work out, that's okay. I have a new bottle that I can, I can just open up. Expiry date. Is it a suggestion? You know what? I'm, I'm chickening out, so I'm just gonna kind of drop it <laughs> right in there. And I'm gonna just use my other mold maker because that one cures in half an hour instead of two hours and a half. of making sure that the mold is actually ready is keeping the cup that you stirred the stuff in and let's check yeah it's pretty hard here by the way so hopefully I can oh, unmold it easily there you go <laughs> it's so weird looks like a web yeah yeah the challenge is gonna be getting this out but there you go so I think our original mold is ready Hermegird, I love the fact that the mold actually took the measurements from the cup. Let's birth ourselves a blueberry. And I decided to experiment with UV resin. Now, there are risks using UV resin when it comes to molds that are not kind of transparent because the light can't get in, which means that the potential for it to not cure is higher than it to actually cure. So. Let's see how I fared. UV resin also hardens under actual direct sunlight on your windowsill, so you don't really need the actual light to make it harden. Something to note about UV resin is it doesn't like to work in thick layers. So make sure that you work in thin layers, cure, harden, and then next layer, harden, etc. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <sighs> Unmolding with UV resin from something that is kind of non-transparent is always a gamble and I definitely took a gamble. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. What what do we have? Do we have a blueberry? Ah dang it. 
not quite not quite a blueberry so I'm gonna keep doing this so that just means that I need to let the bottom part harden a little more before putting the top layers because the top layers definitely were okay and you can see the bottom ones I only left them for two minutes whereas the second bottom half on the layers I left about four minutes in between each layer so let's do it again all right so if this doesn't work then I'm going straight into epoxy resin and no more of this UV resin mumbo jumbo do we get a blueberry today or not let's push this guy out and we do get a blueberry just needs a little bit more curing up here because it's a little it's a little sticky but that's normal so we're just gonna put it in to cure for I would say three more minutes <sighs> And we're good to go. <laughs> and I spoke too soon. <laughs> the next ones I kept making just kept breaking or weren't curing. So I really decided to go for epoxy resin, which is two part resin, and it hardens in about five hours. So instead of this project taking me about 20, 30 minutes to make all the little bulbs, it ended up taking me approximately 20, 25 hours because I had to wait in between each bulb to actually harden inside the mold. Good thing about epoxy resin, you don't need any sunlight for it to harden. With the help of Liquid Sculpey, we're going to wrap polymer clay around the wire to make the stem. It kind of looks like some kind of weird bug, if I must admit. Kind of creeped me out. Smooth the stem as much as you can, put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and then shave off any excess clay that you might have around. It's going to look a lot less clumsy. Dust on some chalk pastels if you want and now you're going to bake it for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to put everything together. Once you glue on your bulbs, Make some little stems with polymer clay and eye pins, glue them, paint them, and then add some felt and rocks, and you're good to go. And here you have it, your very own fly-by-night decoration. They're not that impressive during the daytime, but once you let the sunlight come in, or if you're using a UV light like I'm doing right now, they're going to absolutely shine and look so gorgeous. If you're not a sucker for punishment like me, you can definitely make them out of clay instead of resin. They're just going to glow green instead of blue, but I really wanted the blue glow. I loved the movie so much. I can't recommend it enough. I did watch it and I was just getting goosebumps and it just, it was absolutely gorgeous and a feel good movie. So if you're a Studio Ghibli fan, you're definitely going to be a Studio Ponok fan. I know you guys don't see me too well, but let's do it. All done. Thank you so much for watching guys. Until then, I will see you in the next video.